Hey, what's up? It's Josh with the Get Business Credit YouTube channel. This video is just for brand new businesses only. It's a little tip I wanted to share with you guys. Getting listed with the business credit bureaus, typically you need to, as a brand new business, you need to get a trade line reporting to Experian businesses and Equifax business before a profile is going to get generated. Dun & Bradstreet, you can generate to get your Dunn's number yourself, but there's no way to really do that with Equifax and Experian in business until now kind of so again this is for only new business owners that are not currently listed or don't have a profile set up with Experian business okay across this link it's not really public so you can't really find it any other way so you use the link in the description below okay so typically you're going to need, like I said, a trade line reporting before you can get your business listed with Experian. But like I said, I found this, the link will be in the description below. But what you do is you put in your business legal name. So you want to put it exactly how it matches with the Secretary of State, because when you put this information in, their Experian is actually going to manually look up your information with the Secretary of State. Keep in mind, if you're a new business and a lot of times Experian Experian gets their data from like data, data aggregators such as like LexisNexis and sometimes that can take months before they generate what they call a BIN number. A BIN number is like your DUNS number, but it's just with Experian business. So this is a way to kind of fast track it. It's not out there for the public. So you're going to want to put your business legal name exactly how it's listed with the Secretary of State. Make sure the space is there exactly. Just do copy and paste how you have it listed with the Secretary of State just so everything matches. It's very important with business credit anyways the business address exactly how it's listed as well city state zip code your full name principal owner this is important because this is what's going to be listed on your Experian business profile. It's important to have key personnel, such as CEO, president, uh, founder, vice president, ma manager, director. So you definitely want to have that in there. It's very important that actually factors in a business credit score with Experian the more information you give them. Uh, so it's not such a bare, thin file. And then your title, your phone number, email address, year of registration, state of corporate filing registration. So if you're LLC, S Corp, C Corp, you're going to put the state there and then the employee account and put your tax ID, EIN, your company website, and then a small description, whatever your business may do. This, the small description is not listed on your business credit profile. It's just giving them a little bit of information for them to initially assign it, SIT code, and ISES code initially. You can always change it later. And then you hit this establish my business profile limited to one submission within six months so you can't do several businesses you just do your own so you just submit this and usually um, it's going to happen probably within a week or so you'll get an email confirmation that they listed your business at least that's what happened with one of my businesses that i just recently tested out this uh, adding it with experience so this is kind of cool little I don't want to say trick, but a way you can actually get listed with Experian business faster. And you could be already established business. You just don't have any trade lines reporting. So you, what you can do is you can go to smartbusinessreports.com and you can actually search your business. If nothing comes up when you do that free search, then they don't have a profile for you. So sometimes businesses that are a year or two years old don't even have anything file established. Most of the time they're going to have your information if you've already been in business for more than a couple of months, but sometimes that's not always the case. You can do this just to uh, generate it, double check and make sure that you don't already have a listing. They don't already have one listed because you don't want to make a du duplicate Experian file because that's going to give you headaches as well. So you're going to go to uh, Smart Business Reports. Yes, yeah, so you're going to search your business name there. I can't really type, but you're going to put in your company name, your city, your state, and then hit hit my company and start the search. If nothing comes up, nothing listed with your address or anything, then you can go ahead and uh, create that I showed you here, an initial file. Anyways, I hope it's not too confusing for you guys. If you guys have any questions, please put it in the comment section and I will do my best to respond to you if any of this is confusing or something you don't understand. But again, you do that manual search first, but I'll have both links in the description below. So next time you guys take care, I hope this was helpful, please. Give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.